you know, I put off reading a letter I wrote to myself last January because, I don't know, I think I was afraid to see the comparison of where I hoped I'd be, where, where I, I wrote a letter to myself hoping that I would be in some, some good place. <laughs> uh, I even remember at some point writing a number figure in a station, right? And, um, you know, self-fulfilling prophecies is something that I I do believe in quite a lot, but not in, you know, like mainstream manifesting YouTube world. It's more of a setting goal and working towards it and being happily surprised that you actually made it. (laughs) But when it comes to... What I had written, I was, I, I was putting off reading it because I thought that it would be harsh. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't, I, I would be disappointed about where I was a year later compared to what I had hoped I would, where I would be, and that my past self would be super critical of where where I am now and it was just really surprising to finally sit down and have the courage to read it which how ridiculous is that that you don't feel <laughs> brave enough to read your own uh your own letter to yourself <laughs> like I guess it goes to show how uh how, you know, other people can judge us as much as they want, but it really does come down to how you feel about yourself, and I remember writing a number figure, it is nowhere in this letter, maybe I thought about doing it while I was writing it, and I decided not to, and seeing how hopeful, but also kind, but also understanding myself a year ago was to where I, to to future self is really sweet, and it actually got a little misty in here while I was reading this silly thing, because that January, I was feeling very low, I had a good job, I was making good money, um, it was an exhausting job and not one that was suited to my personality very well. And uh, it was my first non-remote job I've had since in a long time, over a decade, because I was, uh, I've was i been a stay-at-home mom, or and now a single mom, and it's been... I've worked from home, I've run my own businesses, I've worked remotely and last year I took a job because I made good money (laughs) and I had gotten laid off of my previous job uh, that was outside of the home and realized within the first few months that wow uh, this is not gonna work for me long term I am already very very close to burnout and I had only been there a few months so um, I (laughs) wrote this even feeling very low even I had just started really getting back into my artwork because it was some kind of and and journaling because it was I've always written in journals but like actually making art journals and scrapbooking and stuff I, I had gotten out of it for a really long time and it was sometimes I just did not have the words and I needed to use pretty stickers and paint and ink and things that I didn't have any words for, but that I could focus on and that made me happy anyway. And it even talks about, you know, my life's changed measurably in the last two years, and I'm going to include this past year as well, and that I was afraid to speculate at that time what this year would look like, and that I hoped my word for the year, because I always try to choose a word for the thing that I want to work on for the year, and 
last year it was assertive and uh, I'm expressing hopes for hoping that I'm still assertive and that I'm still creating comfort and enjoying my hobbies and uh, reminding myself that I'm really hard on myself which I don't remember writing at all and reminding myself that staying calm and contented and uh, low stress gives me better health remember your skin girlfriend (laughs) and that um I realized my very first business that was actually really successful, but I quit out of a lot of reasons, mostly fear and lack of support, but I quit for a lot of reasons. And anyway, I just felt I felt I don't know. Like I had my one shot at being successful and I blew it. You know. I had my one shot at doing, being excellent at something and earning a living from it. And, and I got scared and I quit. And seeing that reflection in where I am now, (laughs) that my art is half of my income at this point is, uh, and, and I have no desire to stop I have no desire to I I create and I my my word for this year is play oh, I've certainly assertive and went for a lot of things and went through a lot of hard growth last year and this year is I want to focus more on play <laughs> it also talks about, you know, it's okay to be an introvert. You're not boring or burdensome. Uh, I told my, my past self, told my today self that I know you love making beauty and comfort and your eye for aesthetic is a gift that brings peace. I left that with hopes that I was in a comfortable place financially, emotionally, and spiritually. And I don't know, I was just really nice to myself and I didn't expect that. (laughs) So definitely something I encourage you to do because it was something I really needed to hear today. I really needed to read that.